bunch of questions, and now I'm going to ask them. And ask them. I'm going to ask them in this video. Alan DeGeneres. Rob, what do you think of Jared Dines? I think Jared is a really nice guy. He makes really nice videos. And Jared, if you're watching, I think we should go out on a date. Top five favorite guitar players. Dylon, 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 Dylon. Will you be giving away one of your signature Chapmans? Actually, we did that one uh, contest with Musician and we gave away the Ghost Fret. And we're in talks maybe of doing another one later, um, maybe sometime late next year, where we will give away one of the signatures. So maybe, um, but no nothing set in stone right now. How's life, Rob? Well, thanks, Hayden. Life's good. How are you doing? Besides your own, whose signature model guitar would you most like to play? Thanks. Love your videos. Thank you. And definitely the Keith Merrow signature with Schechter, the KM7. T to my knowledge, he's the first like YouTube guitarist, new media guitarist, whatever you would want to call us, um, to get a signature model. And I know it's been a really big success, which is really, really cool and really inspiring. And it's a really badass guitar. So top on my list, definitely the KM7. Hey Rob, are you influenced by Victor Rutten by any chance? Absolutely, big time. Um, one of the best bass players ever. If space is a vacuum, who changes the bags? Hey Rob, I just moved to Chicago. Any recommendations on places to check out? I'll keep this one simple and just go with one and that's Chicago Music Exchange. Probably is the coolest guitar store I've ever been to. And yeah, I think if you live in Chicago and you play any instruments at all, it's absolutely vital that you go to Chicago Music Exchange. Have you ever tried to be a singer? Um, I used to sing a lot more in the songs that I put out and I was very bad at it, so I did try. I did not succeed. You commented under Jared Dine's video where he mentioned he was uncomfortable talking about his money and business stuff. But I'm really interested in how you guys monetize your content. Like what are all the different ways for a musician to make a living on YouTube? Thank you. This is also stuff that I'm really excited about and I think is really interesting and I think is really cool. Um, so it's nice to hear that there's some interest in this. And uh, I, I've kind of gotten the habit recently of if I see someone on YouTube who's making similar stuff and might just be like getting to the point where they might be able to do it as a job, I'll reach out to them and be like, let me teach you what I've learned so far. Because um, I, I find it really interesting and exciting and fun. But I will not get into it in this video, but you can watch, um, there's a video I did with the Tone King where he interviewed me and I got very nerdy about it and um, I went into it in more detail. So I would pretty much just be reiterating um, and repeating what I said on the Tone King's channel. Um, so if that's something that interests you on how YouTubers, at least the way that I figured out how YouTubers can make money being musicians on the internet, um, check out that video and just the Tone King in general um, if you're interested in gear and, and stuff. He's been he's been YouTubing it up for a good while and knows what he's doing. So um, if you're interested, check out that video and check out the Tone King. Why do you live in Chicago? Pizza, 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 pizza.